Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECMWF extended model for today's second video. So uh, we're focusing on the UK and Ireland uh, for this, and we're looking at mean cell pressure, 500 millibar height, temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next six weeks. It'll take us pretty much to the end of June. And I should get along with that view in a moment, just say that the first video we saved was our uh, nice little 7am uh, uh, upload. Uh, just a forecast, looking at weather in detail for the next two or three days. And we've got Jeremy Friday coming up later on, so very much uh, focusing on the extended range uh, for the updates uh, today. And we've also got a 10 to 14 day as well. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that uh, for Yaz Uh Right, so we'll turn the webcam off. There we go. And we're going to start off with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly. Uh, for the Atlantic and Northern Europe. It's going to take us from the uh, 17th through 24th of May. So next week, uh, we've got uh, blocking again around Greenland and Iceland, as has been the case so often over the past few weeks and months. High pressure still blocking up there. Low pressure is across Northern and Western Europe and extending into the UK and Ireland as well, with an area of high pressure towards Spain. Uh, so we're looking unsettled uh, here. We're bringing in the winds off the Atlantic. Jet streams to our south. We're probably bringing in uh, sort of a northerly type flow as well. So cool to quite cold and unsettled. I think sums it up once again. How often we said that over the past few uh, weeks. This has been uh, week one, 500 millibar height. Normally, again, below average heights, low pressure in off the Atlantic into northern and western Europe. We have got to reach down towards Spain. That's going to bring some much warmer weather to them. Uh, but for us, blocking uh, around Greenland ice, extending back into the Arctic, combining uh, with all of this low pressure, will produce quite a cool, maybe even fairly cold and uh, sort of wet uh, type uh, pattern. Uh, so, temperature anomaly for week one is below average once again on the temperature scale. We're around one to uh, two degrees uh, below average once more. So, that's the case in most parts of Europe as well, actually. Spain's doing uh, warmer than average and the far northeast, but most areas there have below average temperatures. And uh, week one precipitation anomaly looks rather wetter than average. It's a little bit dry towards the north of Scotland. That's going to be close to the blocking, of course. But for Ireland, England and Wales and down to northern France, it's uh, and through the Atlantic as well, it is wetter than average too. So a cool, relatively cold and wet week coming up to start us off. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, let's see if things get any better for week two. This is going to be the 24th to the 31st of May. See what this one is uh, showing for the final week of the month. So high pressure still down towards uh, Spain, but looks like it's a bit of a, a, bit of a mid Atlantic ridge. Does extend back towards high pressure on Iceland again. Um, this area here, this white area, could be a bit of a trough within the 500 millibar flow as we have got uh, northern blocking signals. The uh, week two 500 millibar height anomaly uh, looks like this. So uh, again, we've got a mid-Atlantic ridge extending up towards blocking around ice and green with a trough of low pressure to the south of the UK. It looks cool, uh, maybe quite uh, cold and wet again, I think, there for the last week of May. A temperature anomaly is still significantly below average once more. No improvement doing uh, there. We're still generally around 1 to 2 or 3 degrees below average. The uh, week 2 uh, precipitation anomaly still hints at being rather on the wet side, especially so for England and Wales and Ireland. It again, does look a little bit drier just to our north coast that blocking area of high pressure. But the rest of May looking cool and unsettled here, if the, XE, if the ECM extended is correct. Right, moving through to week three, see if June offers anything different, and actually it does. So we begin to get an area of high pressure, a large area of high pressure, it's actually, uh, covering most parts of uh, Europe. There's probably going to be, be some lower pressure somewhere. There's probably going to be low pressure up here, along with the jet streams. So could still be a little bit on the changeable side, especially so for more northwestern and northern areas. But for more southern areas, actually, the high pressure extending in from the south should start to deliver something a little bit drier and warmer there, I would have thought. Uh, week 3, 500 millibar height anomaly uh, shows an area of above average heights across uh, many parts of Europe. That's a large ridge of high pressure. Low pressure again, probably pushed off up here. So it should be uh, turning a little bit drier and warmer, especially for more southern areas there. 
through the first week of the year. The temperature on is still struggling, still hinting at being average to slightly below average. It's not as clear cut but below average um, as weeks one and two, but nevertheless, still a bit of a struggle to lift the temperature up and the uh, precipitation anomaly. Not much of a signal, but it probably hints at being slightly on the driving average side. Right, week, uh, so that was week three. Week four uh, is going to be the 7th through to the 14th of June. If you're enjoying this extended look ahead with the ECM WF model, please uh, smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel, of course. Uh, so this one shows high pressure sitting across the UK and most of Western uh, Europe. So this should be starting to turn things significantly drier. And it just seems looks like it's getting pushed off up to the north. It might be starting to get a little bit uh, warmer as well. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly. So much more anti-cyclonic influence. I think that's the big story. The position of the ridge is slightly to our west-northwest, which probably keeps the wind in from more of a west-northwesterly direction. So it probably isn't overly hot or warm, um, but certainly it's turning drier, and in the June sunshine, the temperatures would be feeling uh, a lot more sort of early summer light. Temperature anomaly is still struggling, really, uh, as a sort of average to slightly below for Ireland, England, and Wales. Just to our south, it is getting much warmer, hotter through uh, France, Spain, and Portugal. And the uh, week four precipitation anomaly is dry, so uh, definitely much more of an anti cyclonic influence uh, for that week going into the middle of June. Week five is going to be the 14th to 21st of June. Slightly weakening signals, but still hinting at some higher pressure, actually, uh, around the UK and Ireland. This time it's more centrally located, so it could be a rather warm week, actually. Um, although the 500 millibar height anomaly still has the uh, centre of the ridge just to our west, which will keep wind in from the northwest. But, I mean, that's a long way out, and that's, that ridge could be, you know, uh, more centred over even to the east of the country by that point. Who knows? The temperature anomaly is still going to be struggling because... Because with the position of the ridge, we're still bringing in the wind from the northwest. So we are we are really struggling to lift temperatures up uh, with this update. But definitely more of an anti-cyclonic influence when we get into June means that it does start to turn significantly drier. So um, we see the precipitation anomaly uh, again hinting at being average to drier than average, albeit with a weakening signal due to that with five weeks away. Last thing we get through to week six, which is going to be the 21st, 28th of June. Uh, so no real signal uh, of use here in terms of mean cell pressure. There's some low pressure out on Spain and North Africa, Africa and out into the Atlantic around the Azores, which is a little bit unusual um, for the middle of summer. The 500 millibar height anomaly, again, doesn't give much away. Uh, we've got a ridge in the Med. That would deliver some hot weather through the Med, uh, of course. Looks like we might be starting to see a re-emergence of some blocking in the North Atlantic and up to Greenland again. Uh, so if that comes off, obviously that might start to get wind back into the North again. And, uh, and we could start to think about getting a trough low pressure in as well across the west of Europe. But again, we're six weeks away, so a really long way out. The uh, week six temperature anomaly looks like that. It's a struggle from beginning to end with the temperatures. Really, most parts of Europe do turn hotter, but for Ireland and, and the UK, again, most temperatures are struggling. We're average or, 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 or slightly below average, you know, through June um, with the temperatures, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on what you like with your temperatures in the summer. And uh, finally, the uh, week six precipitation anomaly Still hints at being rather on the dry side. So that is like like uh, the big story, I think, uh, for June. Uh, much more anticyclonic, a lot drier, and the temperatures are struggling. Um, but having said that, I mean, it is June. So if we're going to have high pressure sort of um, in control of the weather through June, and there's a lot of sunshine, and you would assume there's going to be quite a lot of sunshine in this because it's, it's regularly through June, uh, a dry month being signaled there. Um, so you would assume there's a lot of sunshine. So even if the temperatures are a little, a little bit suppressed, I mean, it's still going to feel quite pleasant. So a very pleasant June could be setting up here if the ECM is uh, right. But the rest of May, the last couple of weeks of May, looking, <laughs> looking a little bit of a write-off, unfortunately. And then things pick up as we get into June. Although there is no signal here that we get particularly hot as we get into June. Um, 
we might get some improvements. Right, so we'll see what Jeremy Fry has to say uh, about all of this later on. So uh, that's going to be the month end look at Japanese and CFSV2. Well, that agree with the ECM. Uh, so part two of the storyline uh, will continue uh, in in around an hour or so's time. And then we're going to have a 10 to 14 day out, which will include all of the regular features uh, that will be coming up this afternoon. Uh, but for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.